What's up YouTube, it's your boy Nash here, welcome back to the channel, and welcome to another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh!'s Biggest Issue. This week's episode, just like last week, I told you guys last week that, that over the next couple months or so, I was going to be talking about the history of the, of the Hidden Arsenal archetypes, which will lead into Hidden Arsenal Chapter 1. Don't mind the background noise, apparently somebody wants to get pulled over by the cops. Anyway, um... Which will which led which would lead into Hidden Arsenal Chapter One, which I'll be talking about, um, which I will be talking about a little later on. Last week was Ice Barrier. This week is Mist Valley, <clears throat> in which Mist Valley's Mist Valley's actually did pretty well back in the day. Um, there were actually three there were three decks that that featured Mist Valley. You have Valley Synchro. You had Avion, Avion Lockdown, <clears throat> and then and then you also had Black Valley, which was a combination of of the Mist Valley archetype and the Blackwing archetype, which um, which I will be which I will get into that here here in a minute. But but for though but um, but yeah, so so Mist Valley was a was is an archetype based off of Wind Monsters who had effects involving returning cards to the owner's hand. So kind of like a spirit archetype of sorts, but in order to use the, those effects, you had to have um you you had to have uh have a cost, if you will, for for triggering the effects and they and it was seen in in the Hidden Arsenal series. I believe it was Hidden Arsenal or rather, it, or actually, the first set was the first cards were released in Storm of Ragnarok, and then of course Hidden Arsenal two, and then of course the two hidden the two uh, hidden Arsenal sets, and then of course also the, and then of course the set Order of Chaos, and then of course you know sets like Shadows and Valhalla, the Secret Forces, uh, Ghosts from the Past, and of course Dual Terminals, which there's a story behind it, which it's kind of an interesting one actually. Excuse me. So, <clears throat> so Miss. So I'm actually reading off reading off what it says online, but it but what it says online is actually a true fact. It's actually from the Yu-Gi-Oh Wiki website. Again, don't want to get copyrighted. You guys know how 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 this works. You guys know. You guys know what's up. Um. Uh, let's see. Miss Valley is is one of the is one of the four most influential tribes of the dual ter terminal alongside Ice Barrier, X Saber, and Flamvel. During the Worm Invasion, the four tribes created the ally of the ally of justice to repel off the Worm attacks. Yeah, so um so Ice so again, Ice Barrier, X Saber, Flamvel's, Miss Valley, Worm, Worm, and Ally of Justice were seen in sets like Hidden Arsenal 1, 2, 3, and also Hidden Arsenal 4. Five as well, five like five or six. So, they, so each archetype had ha, had its own like unique story, if you will. This one for Miss Valley was for Miss Valley's was kind of interesting. Later, later the other three tribes started to change their vision from destroying the worms to capturing them, and using them as a power source to empower the Ally of Justice armies. <clears throat> Disagreeing with this, the Miss Valley tribe left the other tribes and started to fight with their own power. Unfortunately, the Worms got the upper hand from, from the standing-alone Mist Valley tribe, which lacked the army and power to face the Worms. They later aligned themselves with the legendary Dragoonity tribe, who inhabited the ravine next to them. Both tribes started working to repel together working together to repel the Worms. The Mist Valley tribe later vanished due to the, ramp, to the rampaging Trishla, Dragon of the Ice Barrier, who was desperately released by the Ice Barrier tribe, has lost resort to end the chaos in the dual terminal world. However, their descendants emerges emerges and inhabit the Mizelli region while defending the land from various intruders. So it was basically so with so 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 to summarize it, it was the the Mist Valley. Ice Barrier, X Saber, and the Flamvels, they were trying to, again, as, as they say, they were trying to repel, they were trying to repel the worm, the worms from invading, you know, you know, you know, from continuing to invade the dual terminal world. There were, there, there was a lot of, a lot of disagreement, and, and, and of course, 
And of course, uh, Trishla ended up uh, ended up forcing uh, actually forced the Miss Valley Tribe to be to just vanish from out of nowhere, and the Iceberry Tribe was using Trishla as a last resort to start to end the chaos that was in the dual terminal world, which in which the dual terminals the only as far as like. Showing as as far as the dual terminal dual terminals go, you could only have seen 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 the dual terminals in play. You know, in at events like YCS and, and even regionals. I don't know if you would have if, able to see them in worlds, but but nationals, regionals, and um, and YCS were like the main ones that 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 you could see them in. Um, but yeah, so uh, but so I'm actually but later on later on in this series in this uh, in in this series I will be I will be talking about uh, I'm I'm actually um, I, I will be talking about the the X Sabers um, as well because I think X Sabers was actually in in the if I remember right I believe so I don't remember if it was or not. Um, yeah, it was okay. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so I will be talking about that as well um, later on. But um, but yeah, so X Sabers, I, I I will I will be talking talking about them at some point next week. Though I will be talking about the worms and what exactly they did in 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 this story in this dual terminal uh, story. So I will be talking about that at some point. Um, but let's but let's talk about some of the different decks that that um, that were seen in competitive play. So so th so when it comes so when it comes to the, to the Mist Valley archetype, there was only one synchro monster in the whole archetype, and that is Mist Valley Thunderlord, which obviously was a very powerful and versatile monster in terms of its attack and and its effects. But of course. But of course the but of course um, but of course by by returning a card on on your field to your hand, you could make um, make his make Thunderlord's attack go up by five hundred, which will go up to thirty one hundred attack, which I believe which would have which its original attack was was obviously twenty which which was obviously twenty six hundred the highest attack. Among among common synchro monsters, which that's actually a pretty a pretty interesting that that's a pretty good beat stick. You know, having it become a thirty one hundred beat stick that's actually pretty good. Um, cards best to return include to return include activate continuous spell or trap traps like like Hall of the Haunted and even also and even also. Um, as, as well as as well as use effect used effect monsters as well. Um, when it was combined with when the Miss Valley Ar archetype were, were was combined with Black Wings, it became super broken. Being able to just have cards like Dark Samorg and cards like Allure of Darkness in in, in the deck was absolutely incredible. Um, and there was only one card that would be able to allow you to spam spam your board. That was Divine Win the Mist Valley, which I believe is limited now. Um, and then, of course, being able to have cards like Re Re uh, 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 Reborn Tengu, Gen X Ally, Birdman, and, and even also Harpy Dancer as well, which was also, which were also very, which were very versatile with that with that archetype. Now, again, as I said before, as I said before, the three archetypes that that were most commonly played in 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 the competitive meta, you had Valley Synchro, you had Avion Lockdown, and also and also uh, Black Valley. Let's talk about. Let's have a look at at Valley Synchro. So I'm gonna actually take a look here. All right. So so this so the Valley Synchro deck relied on on. Having a good amount of monsters on board with a good amount of of negation with with the combination of Divine Wind and Miss Valley and Miss Valley Thunderburn, 
which obviously was done through through the effect of Thunderbird, who was who um who would be who would automatic who would automatically be summoned upon being bounced back to the hand. Um you know, followed by the summon of of, of cards like Ms. Condor or even also Gen X Ally Birdman from the hand, which again so which again once Thunderbird once Thunderbird was, was summoned was summoned then you would be able to summon summon Mist Miss Condor or or Janet Jack's Ally Birdman, which having those two on board, which actually really did 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 um though just those two cards, just those four cards alone, um, just th those three cards alone, D Divine Wind, Thunderbird, Condor, and and or or Birdman, those are like the main combo starters for you to. Build your board with a good amount of of negation. Um, it would also trigger trigger the field effect of the the field spell effect while keeping Thunderbird while keeping Thunderbird on, on the field due to its effect. And then of course also too, um, and then and then with the field spell, it, it was easier for you to search out to search out Reborn Reborn Tengu in order for you to perform your perform your your single place or even your exceeds place as well. Um, and some of the and some of the other cards that that they that you could use in in that you were able to use in the deck were cards like flying flying comic carrying number one swallow's nest um, uh, magical mallet was another really good one being able to just take your take take your take your brick card take the cards in, in your hand that are, that are bricks put them back into the deck reshuffle and then draw out draw out your your combo pieces real was really 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 useful and then of course too you could also use card and then also too uh cards like terraforming was what was really it was really good on being able to um <clears throat> being able to um to search out search out search out the field spell was would could really did really did did wonders to the deck and even also reload again it's basically it's basically magical mallet but with reload you're sending your whole hand back into the deck and you're and you're drawing out more cards so with so with reload if you had a bunch of cards in, in, in hand that were not useful you just shuffle them back in you shuffle them back into the deck be able to draw out your combo pieces and you and you essentially just go for game um um some of the other cards that, that they could also use as well, were cards like Pot of, Pot of Duality, Miss Valley Falcon, and even also Soldier as well. Um, and there, and you can, and there were also a couple. There were, there were even, even also uh, uh, Gusto cards that you that you could use, use as well in in this deck, which Gustos didn't never got released until until Hidden Arsenal Five Steel Swarm Invasion, which that set actually did wonders for for the. For the Valley Singles deck that we had that we had originally and anticipated, so so honestly, it was a really it, it was a really interesting deck. Um, it was a really in in interesting deck. Being able to have cards again, have cards like Condor, Birdman, Reborn Tengu, uh, Swallow's Nest, which was a really good one. Terraforming, still a pretty busted card card nowadays. Um, it was it, it it was pretty crazy. It was pretty crazy. Um, however, though. Um, However, in the in the January 2014 ban list, um, the the deck itself just lost lot just lo had lost its its mojo with Divine Wind being banned with being limited, Birdman being limited, and of course Tengu being semi limited. Which once those cards got once those three cards got hit, the deck just went down. It went down in flames easily. Um, the the other deck. As well, that, that that I wanted to bring up was Avion Lockdown, which focused on on using using the lockdown effect of Miss Valley Apex Avion, which Avion has has the effect where I'm actually going to go to it right now. It it has the effect where it says it says it says one it says once per chain when a card or effect is activated as a quick effect, you can target a target a Miss Valley card you control. Return that target to the hand, and if you do, negate the activation. If you do, if you, and if you do, destroy. So it had basically it had kind of like a solemn judgment sort of a sort of like effect, and 
it was a re it's still it's still pretty useful actually nowadays, which is kind of uh, crazy. <coughs> Excuse me. Um. Um, but again, ag again, um, you it focused on using using the lockdown effect of Apex Avion using with the effect of Thunderbird, which would obviously again, as I mentioned, was special summon itself when returned to the hand. Um, because that because that AP that Avion was a seven star monster, it was harder to some to it, it would be harder for you to summon it, but. But there were card, but but there were some cards that you would be able to that you could use to summon it, um, such as cards like Tribute Doll, Cost Down, which is another which is a really busted one, um, or or you could use cards like Gen X Ally Birdman, or even Cyber Dragon as you know to you know you know as a way to summon. To summon Avion, but if you had cards like Foolish Burial and you send it to the graveyard, you can summon Apex Avion with a card like Monster Reborn. Because what you would do is, if you open with Reborn and let's say Foolish Burial, you activate Foolish Burial, send the Avion to the grave, activate activate Monster Reborn, resummon the Avion, activate um, activate uh, um. Activate uh, Divine Wind, and then and then just be and then just be able to combo off turn one. Make make your board with a bunch of with a with with a bunch of negates and be and be able to lock your opponent out of using anything of literally playing Yu-Gi-Oh at all. This was a really good one. I may I may end up having I might end up having to build 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 this deck, but it but we will see. But we'll see. Um, the only way, but when, but the weakness of 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 this deck in particular was um, was either destroy the monsters by battle or use counter traps or use multiple or use multiple effects in on a single chain, which um, in which if the targeted Mist Valley monster was no longer on the field when Avion's effect resolves. Then, then the opponent's cards would not be would not would not be negated at all, and thus running out of Miss Valley cards during the chain would result in the loss of Apex's effect. Which once once in which once that happens, you 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 essentially just lose. Literally, you essentially lose. But uh, but of course, of course, luckily luckily there were some cards. There there are a lot of cards that you could use to protect. To protect your board from being destroyed by battle or by or by card effects, you can use cards like Book of Moon, Scrapbar and Scarecrow, Wabaku, which we haven't seen seen Wabaku be you being used in a long time, very long time. Mirror Force is another really good one. Uh, Bottomless Trap Hole, Solemn Judgment, Royal uh, ro uh, Royal Decree, uh, Seven Tools of the Bandit, which was an, an, another really good one. Dark Samorg was another really good one as well. But as far as like. And, and and even also Divine Wrath, which was basically another form of Solemn Judgment. Dark Bride was another good one. Stardust Dragon, Effect Veiler. Um, it was, it was. Those are just some some of the cards they use to stop your opponent. You know, you know, to protect your cards from being struck by, by battle or by card effects. Which that was that. Those are some pretty pretty good cards. But but with the release of the set Order of Chaos. Um, the deck became extremely broken. Using, you know, merging the deck with some of the ninja cards, um, you know, like Hanzo and even also Ninjutsu Art of Transformation. It would, it would automatically prevent. It would, um, it would activate. It would literally. It would. Um, with tra with transformation, you would set the trap immediately and activate it during your opponent's draw phase, which would allow you to summon Apex Avion from your deck. Um, which was which was a pretty which was a pretty pretty interesting combo. Um, so so yeah, but then of course Black Valley was a combination of Miss Valley and Black Wings. Which would use cards like 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 Future Visions, Anti Spell Fragrance, and and of course Dark Samorg, and also you know you know and um, you know 
you know, cards like Miss Valley Soldier and Blackwing Gale, Gale the Whirlwind, Icarus Attack. Um, there were just so many different cards that, that you, so so many different ways that you can make your board with a bunch with a bunch of negates and whatnot. And and another one and uh, and the card there was one card that would be able to negate summons, which no longer which is still banned to this day. It's called Royal Oppression. I believe you have to pay 800 points to negate the summon and destroy it. Which, in which not only could you use that car, so could your opponent as well. And, and um, and there were several other cards as well that that they could use in that were implemented into the deck. You know, like Icarus Attack, Begone Knave, Miss Valley Thunder Lord, Miss Valley Falcon, uh, Thunderbird, Apex Avion again. Um, even also, um, uh, Black Whirlwind as well, which was an, an, an another good one. Um, as far as like the archetype itself, some some of the cards that were that were pretty useful in the in in, in the archetype, as I as I had mentioned or before, you had flying flying comic Curie number one. There was there was Delta Flyer, which was kind of an interesting one because. Uh, because Delta Flyer was not was not a part of the archetype, it was it, it, it even though that was the case, it still benefited from many from um, it still benefited from from being used in wind based decks. So it it, it, it was pretty useful. Uh, Birdman, I talked about it early in 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 the earlier in, in the video. Uh, Reborn Tengu, uh, being able to just take get that off of um, I think I think I think off of uh, fire f fire formation tanky uh, swords swords of swords of really light being able to use that ag against your opponent and being you know being able to be able being able to go full full combo and prevent your opponent from um, from from attacking is just ab absolutely inc insane terraforming surges out field spells uh, begone knave which was kind of an in interesting one compulsory being able to just Bounce your own monsters to your hand, triggering, triggering the the, um, the effects of 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 uh, th uh, Thunderbird. Absolutely crazy. Uh, Dragoon Dark Spear, Penguin Soldier. So there there were so many cards. Instant Fusion was another really good one. Spring of Rebirth. So many crazy cards. So many crazy cards. But there, but of course, like every other archetype, there was there was a weakness. Um. Outside of of Divine Wind and Miss Valley, this the archetype did not have any swarming power. <clears throat> at, ooh, excuse me, at all. It it was not without Divine Wind and Miss Valley, you would not be able to spam your board board with a bunch of monsters and whatnot. So the only way that that you're that you could prevent your opponent from swarming the field with Divine Wind would be obviously Dust Tornado, MST. You can also use Effect Veiler, Ancient Fury Dragon, which obviously is banned now. Uh, Torrential Tribute, Arcanine Magician, um, you know, as far as using Divine, you know, for Divine Wind and Miss Valley. As far as Apex Avion, um, uh, Thunder King Ryu would be, would be, like, one of the main ones that they could use. Even also Black Luster Soldier, Envoy the Beginning, which, just that alone, was very pro problematic for the Miss for the Miss Valley archetype because because if Avion got ban got banished, you essentially just lose easily. Um, as far but uh, but other than that that you you could also use use uh, Gravity Bind, Level Limit Area B, Messenger of Peace, um, uh, Millis Radiant, and even also Poisonous Winds. So as far as the archetype was, so um, honestly. Honestly, those three decks, Black Valley, um, uh, Avion Lockdown, and, Val and Valley Synchro, those were some pretty powerful decks. In fact, I think they topped a couple of, I think the um, Valley Synchro topped a couple of regionals, if, if I remember correctly, back in 2013, 2012, 20, 2012, 2013, I think. I don't remember exactly, but I do know that I, I do know that we did get get some new. I know that we got some, got um, got. I know that that we did get a couple, a couple, a couple of new cards for the Miss Valleys in 
Ghost from the Past, which I think Baby Rock, Miss Valley Baby Rock was one, and there was a couple others as well. But honestly, I but do I see this 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 archetype coming back into the meta? Honestly, no, I really don't because um because if you look at the ban list now, let me actually look. Let me look up the ban list. Um, if I remember correctly, there were there are still some cards that got that got banned for for the deck itself. Um, because I know because as far as now goes, the next ban list we we won't be getting getting it until next month. But there were a few cards from there that we got banned. I think if I remember correctly, I'm literally I'm literally like looking at the ban list right now. Um, um, Ancient Fairy Dragon was one of them, I think, yeah. Yeah, so Ancient Fairy Dragon got banned. Um, what else? Um, if I remember correctly, um, I think I think every, I think you can still use them. Uh, okay, okay, yeah. I, I thought so. So so divine wind. So divine wind in Miss Valley is still pretty. Is still limited. So it, yeah. So I really don't don't see it coming back in anytime soon. Given the fact that divine wind in Miss Valley is is limited, if it, if it, if the card were to come back at two, I could I could probably see 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 the deck uh going pretty high. I I I could see, I, could probably, I could see it do um. Do some very interesting things, but honestly, again, I really don't see the deck come coming back anytime soon, unless if the ban list suggests that that divine wind comes 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 to two, then you know what? Yeah, maybe, maybe. But other than that, again, I I really don't see it. But guys, that is going to do it for this video. Let me know in the comments below um, the question of of the day. Um, which is, do you think, do you, you guys think Miss Valleys would be a top tier deck in today's meta? Let me know in the comments below. And that is going to do it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button if you guys are new to the channel. And you guys one more episode of Yu-Gi-Oh!'s Biggest Issue, which gets posted every Friday. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you guys do not miss out on any new content that comes your way. And be sure to, and be sure to check me out on Twitter and Instagram. All the links will be down in the description below. And if you guys have family you want to send me and want me to open up on the channel, my address will also be in the description as well. And on that, this is your boy Nash, signing out.